I am pleased to introduce our first speaker, Maya Dabur, who will talk about efforts in the Druze Macomb communities to make computers more available to students. And first she'll introduce herself and just tell us a few words about the Druze community. Maya. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for the meeting. Thanks for meeting us and always supporting us. Uh, I'm Maya. I'm from the Macomb Druze community in Beit Jan, which is in Northern Israel. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I'm a graduate from Tel Aviv University. Uh, I was double majored, political science and American studies. Um, so I'm gonna be assuming that not a lot of you guys know who the Druze are. So the Druze were basically an um, uh, esoteric ethno-religious group. We're a minority in the whole world, not just in Israel. Um, and just a brief uh, info is about the Druze. We believe in, like, as I said, we're ethno-religious. So we believe in one God. We have five main prophets. Uh, we have um, our holy books as well. We call them the Epistles of Wisdom. Uh, we're, we are a very conservative uh, society, uh, and most of the Druze live um, in the Middle East. You will find them in Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. Um, we all live in the mountains uh, due to some historical issues that we had with other people. We were persecuted throughout history, so we always chose the mountains. Um, and that's just like a brief uh, info about the Druze. Um, and about myself, as I said, um, I'm a graduate from Tel Aviv University. Uh, I've been in the Macomb Druze community since 2010. Um, I've joined in 2009 to my uh, village uh, community as a student in their programs. We have a leadership program in our community. Uh, and I joined as a student. Uh, I've stayed in that program for three years and then I became a member of the community here. Uh, and since then I've, uh, I've done a lot for just like to, to repay what they gave me, to try at least. Um, we have an amazing activities when the world is a much better place with no coronavirus. On a daily basis we help um, all sectors of the community. We work with elderlies, we work with babies and toddlers, we have a babysitter program, um, and, but may, our main focus is on the youth. Uh, for the youth, we have uh, two special programs. One is the pre-military prep school for underprivileged Druze guys who are not very qualified to enroll in some of the uh, quality um, service so we train them we give them the basic infos we teach them hebrew um, and the second program is uh beside the leadership program is the tourism program uh, we host a lot of groups from abroad and a lot of locals here from israel who wants to come and to hear about the druze from the druze themselves uh, they experience a full cultural experience. They taste our food, they get to meet the people and talk with them. Uh, this is a win-win situation because our youth as well, uh, they learn English, they learn Hebrew, they, their self-esteem uh, rises and they're basically becoming more and more um, open to new cultures and to meeting new people. Um, and other than that, uh, when the, we also, as I said, we also work with elderlies during emergency situations. We also cooperate with the local uh, municipalities here. We distribute food. We do a lot of things together. But um, um, few a few days before the the situation got much more complex here in Israel, uh, and due to the Corona uh, virus situation. We did a small survey for, because we uh, actually it came because as we as we all know all of the students are now uh, learning through distance learning, and from a small survey on Facebook we saw that not a lot of people in my village and in the Druze villages have computers at home, so we approached schools and after the statistics we uh, from the statistics 
statistics that we collected, uh, it showed that approximately, I'm going to talk about Beijing in, speci in specific. Uh, in Beijing, we have about uh, 200 families that do not have computers at home. Uh, so we joined the efforts together and we, uh, we decided that we are not uh, we are. We wanted to do something about it. We started collecting um, old computers and laptops from people who are not in need for them, or they have extra ones. And we've also opened a PayPal um, account, so people who do not have computers but still want to donate money, so we can buy computers with that. Um, well, as I said, in Beijing alone, we need 200 computers. And actually, today I just got back from the uh, from the community center, and we distributed about uh, 40 uh, 40 computers. Um, and we are we are very happy. I am very happy to tell you that our efforts are paying off. Uh, a lot of people are contributing. A lot of people are donating either money or computers. And uh, luckily, our, uh, our project is now running uh, in all the Druze communities and not just in Beijing. Uh, it was very important for us because, um, like, even for me, even my neighbors didn't have computer. Like, I, I know the struggle, and I've seen kids who are unable to connect with their teachers or with their, uh, with their classmates or are not keeping up, and it's very sad. So if we can do something about it, then why not? Um, and today after the distribution, we've got a lot of comments and it's heartwarming and um, we're gonna be posting some pictures on Facebook as well. I'm gonna send, in, send some to Shosh as well. She can share with you guys. Um, and um, that's basically it. Thank you so much, Maya. <laughs> it's really heartwarming to hear uh, that, that your efforts are really paying off and that it's spread to the other other uh, Druze communities as well. Yeah. So that, that's wonderful.